when I bring them back together and say, tell me what you saw, I'm not asking them to tell me what's important to John Smith. I'm asking them to tell me what they see. And if you write it all on the board, what do you see? Indians and water. What's important to John Smith? Indians and water. And if they don't see it, then you say, look at what's written on the board. Does anybody see a pattern? How do we put these things into groups? Most of what they're going to write down are things you can connect to either Indians or water. Why are these things important? Because maybe um, the Chesapeake Bay has water and they need water. And maybe they traded with the Powhatans for food. And so he thought the Powhatans were important so, because they um, helped. Okay. He thinks the Powhatan are important because of trading for food. That's one possible good answer to our question, right? He thinks the Chesapeake Bay is important because it's water. Let's explore that a little bit more. Yeah. And he also thought it was important because um, he would probably cross from Jamestown all the way to, um, to the Powhatan land so that he could trade with them. Okay, so what does a map usually do for us? I mean, why do we make maps, right? Why, what does a map do, Aminata? It um, guides us. Guides us. Good word. So, we're talking about trading. We're talking about maps that guide us. Why did he put all those little names on this map? Why did he put all those names on this map? Grace? Uh, to tell you where the person is. To tell you where those people are so that you could trade with them, maybe. Would there be another reason why he would want to know where all these people are? Is there any other reason why he wants to know where all these people are? Possible. Zach? Yeah, um, yeah. so that they um, could, uh, could uh, dodge like bat tribes that, would, that are actually kind of bad, and uh, they could go through tribes that um, are, will help them. Okay, because he might, might want to avoid, I like to use the word dodge, he might want to avoid <coughs> certain tribes that might want to be violent or hurt them. So if they're all on here, he can know I should go this way and not this way, because if I go this way, I might run into those bad guys, right? It's important to have all, as much information as he can, so he can get help when he needs it, right? And he cannot get hurt, okay? Yeah? How come he has all, like, he drew all these trees over here and he didn't, we don't have them here? Good question. Everybody hears their question? Mm -hmm. On the map, why would he have drawn all of those trees? And we don't have that on here. Umar? Uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they made cities. Okay, because maybe today we don't have all those trees. Maybe today we have cities. Sham? Um, maybe it was because um, types of view, like John Smith maybe made a little bit closer so that Maybe see the trees or rivers, but on the map that we have today, do you see like a very far view where you just see the Virginia, but and okay. not trees or perspective. Anything. I would get them to think about perspective. Why are the Indians there? Why are the Indians so prevalent? They can kill us, and they can give us food. They know those two things. Why does the Virginia Company care about those things? I'm a big fan of writing things from a different perspective. You can have them pretend to be a colonist who's writing a letter back home to his wife who's describing the new house or home that he's going to set up. Well, I'm going to set up someplace along the river because that way it'll be easier to get back and easier to send things.